This is the Make It Rain campaign. Hmm, branch and quest apparently for this one too. But your rewards remain the same regardless of the choices you make. This one's interesting. And um, MGP gains are increased by 50% for all events here in the Gold Saucer. So keep that in mind too. Combine that with uh, the FC buff, I believe it's called Jackpot. And uh, it'll be really, really big uh, gains for you. Even more so if you haven't done your challenges in the Gold Saucer this week. So if you want surprises, now's the time to go for them. Screams. So this is going to get more serious than I might seem. At first it sounded like from the description it might be uh, leading to new uh, activities. Well, let's go all the way up, I guess. I'm assuming it's up here, so I don't see anything down here. I'm not gonna cut this ninja moves fast enough. Murder? Oh man, so we gonna have to find the suspect. <laughs> but if there's a branching path there, then you could potentially uh, arrest an innocent person, though. Mm. Wow, is it really that simple? Gotta question them all, though. They're all convenient way over here. Hmm. Don't tell me we have to tell him already. It doesn't seem like there's quite enough evidence. Unless there are some optional clues here I missed. We need more evidence. Interesting, so now we gotta go look around to find some clues here. We can talk to him now, though. Wow, so you could potentially say who the killer is without gathering the evidence first? Well, I'm gonna go search for evidence. Guess I'll show the locations of some of the clues. Maybe not all of them. Sounds like this might be huge. Okay, here's one. I'll have to show the location. After this cutscene, because I didn't expect it to happen. So this is George Sill, here at the entrance square, X 5.2, Y 6.1, somewhere around that range. Here at the card square, there's some uh, odd parchment slips here, at about uh, X 4.6, Y 7.4. Undoubtedly another clue. To the king.
from the rook. Chess themed code names? Hmm. Let's see, is one of these girls have anything to say? Oh, here we are. All evidence really seems to show that his wife didn't do it. So it seems. And this is, uh, just to be clear, this is about X 4.9, Y 7.2. This is not a good sign. What happened to this poor cactar? Once again, I'll show the location after this. Oh, it's just a costume. Hmm. So they disguised in this. You'll find this cool at around uh, X 4.9, Y 4.9. Here's another strange little clue here at X 7.9, Y 6.7. Tiny bell. See what this leads to. Sweet scent still lingers within. Very strange. Let's try these two. They oh, here we go. Excellent. Norman Storm has something to say here. Oh. Hmm, so he might have been a little unfaithful. Oh, and this NPC too. This is uh, very near uh, the scene of the crime here. X 7.2, Y 7.2. Speaking of the scene of the crime here, we investigate the serving tray. Bitter spirits. Hmm, anything else around here? Not really. What about this fellow? No, he's got nothing. Let's try talking with this NPC over here. Oh, perfect. Hmm. So she's someone new. Odd. And this is at, uh, what is this again? The cackpot board. Yeah, let's say the cackpot board. Because it's right here, next to the jumbo cackpot board. Let's see if Hitchcock has anything to say. What the heck? That's interesting. Sweet odor in the glass. Is a reoccurring theme here. Oh, she doesn't say anything special. And this fellow Hitchcock is located here around uh, X 8.5, Y 7.4, or 4.7, excuse me. It will eventually give you a message here when you found all the clues. There are 10 in total. We'll just temporarily review, I guess. First, the parchment. Something about reward. The empty pail. The plate. The plate is a false lead. Or it serves to show you that it was a drink, more than likely. And yeah, it's definitely pretty clear here that neither of these three suspects did it. But you gotta try and figure out then who did. Explain your reasoning. Hitchcock was really suspect. It was like he was working 
like he was in on it or something. And his scarred costume was really bizarre. How many people could fit in there? Maybe it wasn't a person who did this. By the way, time to figure this out, you know? But we gotta back up our reasoning with the evidence. Definitely in the drink. That much I know. I'm gonna assume that's the case here. And definitely happened when uh, they were already on the table. was in a small pail, so it would have been easy to sneak it around. <laughs> they seem to agree that I've made the right choices. But of course, none of them want to be uh, found guilty. None of them seem to have done it. It was a stab with Ender for sure. Because the true killer was inside it. The Lala did it. Hmm. I think it's either Envy or Gamble Habit. I'm gonna go with Gamble Habit. Wait, the note. It did say King and Rook, and he was promised a reward. So that seems the most likely deduction here. Uh oh, the way he's looking. Man, I got it wrong. Doesn't look very guilty. He's not, like, confessing. Clapping? Was the whole thing just a joke? Oh, that makes sense. R to K. So it was all just a hoax, figures. I was sort of hoping for a haunted house, but a murder mystery is not bad. And this definitely feels like the true ending. I don't think there's a better ending. It's, that's the whole mystery. Now let's talk to this fellow. People in chat are saying, you know, you got it wrong if a big uh, faceless shadowy person tells you that you got it wrong and calls you an idiot. <laughs> so I guess I did a f that was a true ending then. Let's collect our prizes, whatever they may be.
Gobbert? Just a guess. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no doubt weapon choice. How it goes the other way, then you never find out it was all just a joke. I know they got to reveal to you, but probably not. In not such a complimenting way, though. And what's this one now here? To do it all again, huh? Oh, I've seen everything I need to, I think. And now this is an inspector's gadget, huh? So this is just collecting our prize. That seems pretty simple. To the entrance wheel. Talk to the tap keeper here. And we get Eureka, Emote, and MGP vouchers. You are in the Eureka emote. An achievement gold digger, of course. <laughs> Have a bunch of vouchers. And free tickets. And let's, uh, we'll go check out some of the prizes here. We can talk to the euphoric uh, attendant here at X6.4, Y6.8. Also near the quest giver. She has the prizes here. The trophy. Costs a bit of MGP. And 20 for the gold sparklers if you need more. I might as well uh, ready one of these up. Let's see. Does this. Oh, that's that's awesome. Hold on here. <laughs> try that again. I said try that again here. Makes it random coins, basically. <laughs> kind of neat. Then uh, I'll get to the emote. Alright, here's the emote, though. The Eureka emote. Like that. <laughs> Complete with the sound effect. Show that again. <laughs> you experience a brief moment of enlightenment. And always, uh, that does it for this one, folks. That's not off. Have a good one now.